What's up, I'm Lance Gross, and a value that's important to me would have to be friendship. You know, friends are the ones that hold you down. Friends are the ones that you depend on, so I think that's very important in your life. Saronis J. Jackson, thanks for coming to my studio, man. I, I appreciate it, man. Yeah. I appreciate it, I'm excited about this. Man. Yeah, I'm excited too, man. So what, what I'm doing with this is, I'm inviting my celebrity friends and, and people I just admire in the industry to come in, shoot with me, and we just sit on the couch, shoot the breeze. Yeah, you know man. I, mean? nah, I, see, I, I, I feel the vibe, man. I really like it. I've seen it. Absolutely. So attached to that, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm taking values that are important to me and I'm applying them. So for you, I gave you friendship. Now, I today is the first day that I've actually met man, you. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know you're from Insecure and all that, yeah. but I, I don't actually know you. Right. So. I'm the type of person, man, if I if I feel the person vibe and I, I see that they're cool, you know, I, I like to develop a friendship, right, you know right. what I mean? And I, want, I really want not only myself, but the audience to know more about you. Right, right, so, right. so that's what it is. I gave you friendship, man. Great, great man. I appreciate that. That's, that's important great. to me. So that's, that's great that we're doing that. Yes, sir. So when you hear the word friendship, what, what is that to you? For me, um, when I hear friendship, I, that's a, a support system. You know, it's the village. There's no negative energy, there's no hate, there's never no jealousy, just none of that. It's, there's no need for that. You know, there's plenty, there's, there's enough for us. Exactly, exactly. And as soon as somebody that didn't match a certain vibe, you know, it's nice to meet you, but then I don't go no further than just a handshake, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, that, that, I think that's kind of like the, what I feel with the meat of friendship is just that support system. Okay age-old topic of conversation. Do you think it's possible to have a best friend of the opposite sex without, you know, going there? Oh, okay. I was gonna say. <laughs> without it being like... Right, right. Now, to, to I, I do think it's possible to have a best friend of the opposite sex. I do think that because I, I, have, uh, I have very close friends that are, that are women. Yeah. As far as not going there, uh, I think, yeah, I do think that's possible. But then is it now when people know that they are physically attracted to one another, is there enough discipline to like, okay, then you know they're attractive, but that's that, you know what I mean? It, you know, a lot of people don't have that discipline. I think it comes with maturity though. I was just gonna say that. Maturity, discipline. Hey, well, yeah. Exactly. And then when you get married, it's just, it ain't even an yeah, option. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Well, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you get to that level, yeah, I'll, I'll see once that happens. But uh, yeah, I, I can only imagine like navigating though through that. It has to be a whole different world. Now you got a wife, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, he'll get a text message. She's like, oh, who's texting us? Like, yeah. Oh no, but that's how it is. Yeah, like, yeah. if I got a friend and my wife don't know her, I'm gonna introduce her to her gotcha. and they are gonna become oh, friends. We because, friends. Yeah, 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 it is, it is we, because your wife, that, that's, that's your better half. Exactly, you, know what I mean? you guys are you gotta, a unit. You gotta protect home. Yeah, I yeah, feel nah, you, man. It ain't, it ain't no friends at home. She ain't got no friends that I ain't cool with. Yeah, and I ain't got no right, friends that she right, ain't cool right, with. Right, right, you know yeah, I mean? got vice versa yeah, too, yeah. man. Yeah. So, what were you, all right, so Lance, yeah. what was your personal thoughts when you saw like what my character was ex exploring on the show? Man, it's, it's, it's a sticky situation. Right. Because you made it seem like it was one thing and it, it really wasn't. Right, okay. So exactly. You, you, how I presented or yeah, how yeah. Joe presented it to Molly yeah. was, were you, are you saying it was like, like presented more casually? Like the openness of it. Oh, you think he's lying? It, am I wrong? <laughs> am, am, am I wrong? I mean, man, look. It, is it as open as he hasn't? I mean, he hasn't. He hasn't lied, has he? Okay. Okay. <laughs> See, I, I I gotta stay out of all them kind of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yeah, <laughs> man, I feel you, man. Yeah. If yeah. you can invite three people to a dinner, living or dead, I mean, I'm just gonna go to people that inspired me and like, I, like, it's a big reason why I am who I am is a uh, uh, Muhammad Ali and Malcolm X one and two for sure. Yeah, those two yeah, for can't sure. Wait, you didn't even have to think about that. Those two are like <laughs> top two, like some of my role models in my life. Yeah. Uh, for the third, you know, I, I would want it to be an ancestor of mine to really connect and have a conversation of how I'm feeling now 
mm-hmm. versus how they were feeling then and what their mentality was or what they went through. Because I come from a line of like like fighters and mm-hmm. protesters and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So like just to have a conversation with them, a real deep one with somebody who is not here, just to kind of connect the or bridge the gap yeah. and just have that, that just seems so satisfying. So. What's one thing that you would like for the fans to know about you that they probably don't know? Oh, so I, I'm Panamanian. My mother was born in Panama. Okay. And um, growing up, I used to do, I was in a, a cultural dance group with my mother. So I would have to dress, you know, have the, you know, sombrero and a yeah. button up and the yeah. chancletas and everything yeah. and be all, <laughs> and I'd be out there with my mama dancing. She'd be on, she'd have a dance partner and I have a dance partner. Yeah. And we would go to like, di- we'd perform at different events, go to different venues and stuff like that. And I did that for a few years, like uh, growing up. It's a, it's a big thing with the, with the Panamanian culture. You know, you see that it's like, oh, Panamanians get excited when they see it because it reminds them of home. Yeah. Um, so that was, that was a, something I did when I was younger. And like none of my friends, nobody knew about it just because this is something I did on the week with my mama. Yeah, yeah, I can't. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I, I, I can't go. I <laughs> got something to do. <laughs> Did you pur- so you purposely kept it from like? Yeah, because they didn't want to go thing. understand, man. <laughs> you know, it's, I'm gonna go play basketball at this gym, but yeah, it's, 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 I'm like, it's, it's by membership only. You know, so like, you gotta go handle this. <laughs> you can't, you can't with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, like, you know, um, but it, you know what it was? I think it was just because it was really important to my mama. So it was like I did it, you know, for a while. As far as me personally. I don't know if it'll come as too much of a surprise, but you know, I, I think I, I consider myself, I'm very outspoken and like somewhat militant in a way. You know, yeah. some people will say, you know, I'm very active and pro, you know what I mean? Like I just, uh, and that's something that uh, sometimes it depends, certain people I would have to get used to being around because, you know, I will speak my thoughts on something, especially if yeah. something's said that's like out of ignorance or something like that. Yeah. I'm very quick to go, hey, hold on, man. Yeah. you know what I mean? And yeah. then, because a lot of people like to speak without facts or yeah. whatever. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very outspoken. Do you feel that, especially, you know, as a black man, do you feel that there's a responsibility to uh, just do whatever you can to further progress what we can do for the culture? You know what, I feel like <clears throat> it's, it's a responsibility to mm-hmm. do so. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because we have so many people looking up to us. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're blessed to Absolutely. be in the position that we're in, mm-hmm. you know, and we got to not only pull the next person up, mm-hmm. but, you know, we got to, we got to educate. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And and if we have power to make a change, then why not why use not? it? Exactly. You know I mean, yeah. So, yeah. My thoughts exactly, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, well, I, I feel like we connected, man. Yeah, and, definitely, and, man. And, and I, I feel like this is a start of a friendship, man. Yeah, I think sir. you're a cool dude. I, I felt your vibe, you know what I mean? Right. So. But yeah, man, thanks for man, coming to my appreciate studio. Appreciate you having me, man. Yes, sir. Pleasure. Yes, sir. Man, pleasure. Thank you. Man, honor, you. honor, man. I'm glad I met you, man. Yeah, proud of you doing sure. your thing, too, man. I know we just met, but I'd like to say, yeah, I'm proud man. of you doing your thing, man. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate you, man. Yeah.